Hey, everybody. So I have a whole presentation for you, but it looks like I only have six minutes. So we're going to do a, an abbreviated, I'll skip the boring stuff, OK? Um, so I do every year like to give you a little bit of our year in review. I think sometimes not everybody knows what goes on at the Alliance all year long when we're not together. Um, so there's the everyday work of the Alliance, all the things that we take care of every year. Um, we administer the Humanitarian and Forbes Norris Awards, the March of Faces, and you can see our banners all around, the Partnership and Mentorship Program, our campaigns on Global Day, um, such as the Patients' Rights document that we had this year, our Alliance Support Grant, um, our subscription process. Um, I also help to manage the Board of Directors make sure they're doing all their jobs and reporting to them on everything that we're achieving at the Alliance. Um, and I make sure that we are in good compliance with UK charity law where we are registered. And also, perhaps most importantly, um, Carol and I work very closely and now Barb will also be involved with the whole board of directors to develop our strategic plans and our operational plans for the year. So what have we done in 2016? Our biggest news in 2016 is that we have a new staff member. Her name is also Rachel, so I'm sure you'll be confused. Sorry. Um, and she is fabulous. She works 15 hours a week, and she started in October. Um, she lives in Atlanta, Georgia. And her primary tasks are grant writing, social media, newsletters. So you'll be communicating with her on those things from here on out administrative support, and she was our lead on the Fitcoin Challenge, for those of you who have been participating in our Fitcoin Challenge. So that's Rachel. Um, and many of you may already have communicated with her, but she is on that coordinator email address. So go ahead and say hello to, your, to her if you haven't already. Another big undertaking in 2016 was the development of new policies and the amendments to the Articles and Memorandum of Association. This is one of those boring slides, I'm going to skip. Um, but you heard about it during the AGM. Very important. Meeting planning is always a big part of what we are doing all year long. 2017, we will be hosted by the ALS Hope Foundation and ALS Therapy Development Institute in Boston. And in 2018, we'll be in Glasgow, hosted by MND Scotland. And I think we can now officially say 2019 we will be in Perth, Australia, hosted by our friends at MND Australia. And we have just taken your host applications for future years. So who knows where we might be in those coming years. Um, we continue to grow in our public profile and community outreach. So I attend lots of meetings all year. I make sure that the Alliance is present and that we're participating in other um, regional and global communities and that everybody knows we're here in the world of ALS MND. We have just started taking the first steps toward a new role um, in the research sector and Rob Goldstein has been instru instrumental in this so I do want to thank Rob for his help. Rob developed a research survey which we sent around to all of our members. Um, so you have probably filled that out, and if you haven't, I recommend that you do. Um, and we're going to collect that data to get a better sense of what our members want us to do in the research arena and what you're already doing and how we can best serve you. We've also been developing our regional mentorship program, so many of you may have seen an email come around with a Google document where you could fill in your information. Um, so we are collecting regional mentors in all the different parts of the world where we have members. And we're hoping to use that list in the future to develop partnerships, um, mentorship partnerships, between emerging associations and those that are well established so that we can exchange resources and information. Um, Sarah Feldman and Afrat Karmi have long been on our board part of the Partnership and Mentorship Committee. Um, and we will be reconvening that committee in 2017 to look at this data that we've collected on our regional mentor sheet and to think about how we can best facilitate mentorships and what those mentorships can look like. So if you have feedback, email me. Carol and I 
I made our first trip to the Asia Pacific region. Um, so we did member visits in Malaysia and Taiwan. And we also visited the Korean ALS Association, who was not a member at the time of our visit, but has since joined the Alliance. So that's wonderful. Um, we had new contact with emerging groups that aren't quite formulated yet in the Philippines, Indonesia, and Myanmar, um, who we met at the PACTALS meeting. And we also conducted a site visit for the Perth Australia meeting. So we had a lot of great outcomes and it was fantastic to see the programming that's happening in some of our members' um, home countries. So I do want to thank the members who hosted us during that trip. We had a wonderful time. We've been growing our communications and social media. As you know, our Facebook and Twitter continues to grow. Please, during this meeting, use our fun hashtag, ALSMND Without Borders. Oh, and just so you know and can tell people at home, we will be live streaming the Ask the Experts session tomorrow. So if there are people living with ALSMND, their carers, other community members who can't come to Dublin but want to see those experts speak and ask questions, they can do so through the live streaming portal. We updated the website. It was a lot of work. There's a members only section on the website now, which I hope you are using. Um, we're developing that piece of the website, and so if you have feedback for me on what you want to find there, let me know, and how we can make it better for you. But I hope you've all tested it and gotten your usernames and passwords. Um, and then we also have a new blog, and a new menu, and a couple of other new features on the website, so check it out. We also launched our Fundamental Rights of People Living with ALS MND document. This was an update um, of an old position statement that we had. So we took input from members and input from the board, went through a revision process, and came up with this final document, which has been officially endorsed by, I think the official count is 26 member organizations. Um, and we put your logos up on our website. And we promoted that during Global Day 2016. So I think this is the beginning of some great ways that we can advocate together as a, a global community. And of course, we have the Fitcoin Challenge. Um, so I think a lot of you are participating in the Fitcoin Challenge. Some are, some aren't. Do we, do we know what the Fitcoin Challenge is? Yeah? Maybe, yeah? Okay, good. Um, so we were very lucky to have ALS Netherlands. <laughs> Gorit Jan, thank you, um, as the representative from ALS Netherlands who is here, um, along with It's My Life in the Netherlands, donate a number of fitness trackers, um, which are like Fitbits that we have passed out to any member who wants them, um, although international mail has proved to be a challenge, so some members may not have gotten theirs. Um, and we all put on our Fitbits, put on our fitness trackers, and walked together to count our steps. Our goal was to walk 1,500 kilometers, which is the equivalent of walking from London to Dublin ahead of the meeting. Um, we are about 69% of the way toward our goal, and we will be taking a group walk together later today. Um, and Gort Jan has extra fitness trackers for anybody who does not have them. So we'll talk a little bit more about that around the lunchtime hour and give you all the information. We have eight new members this year, and they're listed there. I'm really excited to have brand new members um, in Rwanda, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Israel, Romania, South Korea, and some more in the United States, which is wonderful. Um, and some of them are with us today, so thank you for being with us. That's it. See, I was so fast. You're two minutes late for your snack, but that's okay. Does anybody have questions? Hungry and thirsty and you want your coffee. Okay, go get it. We're done.